All right, this is another video for Math Pace 1095. This one is about compounding interest. And compounding interest is kind of cool, especially if you're earning interest, because you put the money into the account, and then after the first, let's say, quarter, first three months, they figure out how much interest you've earned, and they put that into your account. But then for the next quarter, you now have what you started with plus the interest that you earned, and that total is earning more interest. And then at the end of that three months, they put that money into your account, and now you've got even more money in your account so that the next quarter, when they calculate the interest, is actually a little bit more. And so that just keeps growing and compounding. All right, so it's a little different than simple interest. Simple interest, you just, it's just the principal at the beginning times the rate times the total amount of time that you have it in there, all right? And it doesn't keep growing or graduating up. Let's walk through, this was kind of a confusing problem, at least for uh, one of my students here recently. Uh, they walk you through an example on page 45 and, and kind of step you through carefully. And for that one, you're doing quarterly. So with the time, you remember the formula? Let me write it down up here again. I equals the principal times the rate times the time. And if we're doing it quarterly, then the time is one-fourth of a year, okay? So that would be 0.25. But then, after they go through that example, you turn the page, and the first problem you do on page 46, number 15, we're going to deposit $800 at 4% interest and is compounded semi-annually. And so if you're not familiar with that term semi-annually, you might be confused. Well, don't be, because the term semi-annually just means twice a year, every six months. So that's why they have the six month, 12 month, 18th month, every six months. So let's start with 800 here. The rate is 4%, so that's going to be 0.04. So let's figure out what the interest would be. So I'm going to pull my calculator out here. I have it here on my phone. 800. Okay, whoops. Clear. 800 times 0 0.04. Now we're not done because that's 32, but I now need to multiply that times the time, which is 0.5. All right, so times... 0.5 half a year so the interest is $16 now my new ending balance at the end of the 16 months or six months is not $800 it's $806 all right now here's the magic watch this I take this ending balance and that becomes the new starting balance for the next six months so I'm going to take 806 now times 0 0.04 times 0 0.5 all right because <clears throat> so the rate hasn't changed but now the interest has changed because instead of just being sixteen dollars it's sixteen dollars and twelve cents okay and so now this becomes we add that, all right, plus the 806. Now I have 822 and 12 cents. Let me just see, does it say to round to the nearest dollar? No, carry it out, okay? <clears throat> now we can take that as our starting point here. Eight. You know what, I think I made a mistake here. Did I, I don't think I multiplied, did I multiply 806? Let me just make sure, 806 times 0 0.04 times 0 0.5. You know, I'm right, okay. Plus the 806, all right, so 822.12, and then you're gonna multiply that times the same rate, and I'm not gonna finish the problem for you, I want you to finish it. So now you take this times this times 0 0.5, and that would be the interest here and then you'll need to add that interest to your starting balance here to get your new ending balance okay 
So several steps involved there. Um, I, I do know that there is one like this on the self-test and one like this on the PACE test. So make sure you understand the steps involved and now watch carefully whether it's saying annually, semi-annually, quarterly, maybe even monthly, you know. Um, but you watch for that carefully and then follow through. I would suggest just do a couple of problems and then check it against the score key and make sure you're on the right track, all right? Because again, you don't want to do a lot of problems and then realize, ah, I didn't do it right, okay? So um, you're near the end of this pace. Only one more after this. I hope you do well on your self-test and your pace test.